you you show in our lives. We thank you for our families, Lord. We thank you for our communities. We thank you for our jobs, Lord. We thank you for the gift of salvation, Lord. You know our heart desires. We humbly come before you, Lord. The word says that anything we ask in prayer, there's nothing impossible with you. There's nothing impossible, Lord. You know our heart desires. In the name of Jesus, we pray for favor. We pray for financial breakthrough. We pray. We pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Any sickness, infirmities, we cast any infirmities out in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch us. Touch us. Lord, we commit the children into your hands, Lord, as they are preparing to go back to school. Lord, bless them. Bless them. Open your minds. Open your minds. We use them as points of contact for all the kids in this community going back to school. Lord, touch them. Touch them. Be their guidance. Protect them. Deliver them from evil. Bless them. Bless their friends. Bless their teachers. Bless the school. Bless the community. Use them as you deem fit, Lord. Help us walk in your will, Lord. Yes. Your will be done yes, on earth, Lord, as it is in heaven. Help us walk in your will, Lord. Help us walk in yes. your will, Lord. Yes. We commit the church into your hands. Kingdom life of Kingdom Life Temple. Kingdom Life Temple of Deliverance is in your hands in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing flow by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your anointing flow in this place. Lord, in the name of Jesus, anoint us. Anoint us. We commit every member into your hands, Lord. We pray that you deliver us. You protect us. Lord, we thank you for how far you've brought us. Lord, we are the light and salt of the world in the name of Jesus. We are a city set on a hill in the name of Jesus. Let us be the light in our communities in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the adoration. We bless thee. We bless thee. We say thank you for what you've done, what you're about to do, what you've already done. We thank you. We bless thee in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to pray for each of y'all. God, we speak life, oh God, over death, oh God. 
They speak life, oh Lord Jesus, over death, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, whatever you are doing in this season, God, do not do it without us, oh God. Is our prayer, God. We pray this name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' master's name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We are grateful to be out here for this hour of power prayer service on today. More grace to fulfill our destiny ahead. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, today, because you cared for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you, I lift you up, Lord, I magnify your I can search for 
Jesus, there is none like him. There is none like our Lord. Our scripture on tonight comes from Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5, where I say want to stand for the word of the Lord. Amen. As is our custom here at Kingdom Life Temple of Deliverance. Amen. We're very grateful for everyone that is out here on tonight. Those that might be watching, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Hallelujah, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 5. And the scripture says, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet per adventure, for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Bless us the reading of the word of the Lord as you take your seat. Just tell a neighbor, every good word spoken over my life, every good word spoken over my life shall come to pass. Every good word spoken over my life shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just for the next fleeting moments, won't be here long. But tonight I come with a prophetic word that is going to ignite your faith and set your spirit on fire. The Lord has declared that every good word spoken over your life shall come to pass. Not some of the words, not most of the words, but every good word. How many words? Every good word word, every promise, every prophetic declaration, every divine assurance that has been spoken over you by God shall manifest. Amen. Our foundation for this message is Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 8, where we are reminded of the incredible grace that we have access to to through faith. We are reminded that our journey of faith involves tribulations that produce perseverance. It produces perseverance. Those tribulations that you go through, which leads to character and ultimately results in hope. But this hope, as Paul says, does not disappoint. Why might you ask? Because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Ghost. So if you would allow me to speak into your spirit that the hope you have in God's promises will never disappoint you. Every word spoken over you will come to pass. Can I get a witness? And you are standing in the grace of God that makes it all possible. Hallelujah. 
My first point is the authority of God's word. Point number one, the authority of God's word. When we talk about a prophetic word, we are not just talking about nice sounding phrases or positive affirmations. We are talking about the word of God, which carries authority, power, and the ability to create and manifest. Someone say authority, authority. Power, power, create, create. And, manifest. and manifest. Hallelujah. Isaiah 55 verse 11, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 reminds us, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the day for which I sent it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nothing's going to return to our God void. For every word that he has spoken over your life shall come to pass. For when God speaks, his word carries creative power. Yes. Just as he spoke the universe into existence in the book of Genesis, he still speaks into the lives of his children today. Every good word spoken over you, whether it's healing, deliverance, promotion, finances, or restoration, carries the same authority as when God said, let there be light, and there was light. Hallelujah. Again, whether it's healing you need in your body, speak it, proclaim it over your life. Hallelujah. Deliverance you're in need of. Speak it over your life. Promotion you're needed in your life. Speak it over your life. Finances are needed in your life. Speak it over your life. Restoration over your life. Speak it over your life. Just like God said again, let there be lights. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. When God speaks a word, it often doesn't manifest immediately. There's usually a process involved. And it is in this process that our faith is tested. Hallelujah. It's in the making process of God that our faith is tested. Just think about Abraham. Abraham, God spoke a word over his life. Declaring that he would be the father of many nations. Yes. He would be the father of many nations. But Abraham had to wait years for that word to come to pass. During that waiting period, he faced doubt, fear, and discouragement. But Romans 4 and 20 tells us, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. So the same God who spoke to Abraham has spoken over your life. His word will not return void, but it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second point is on the process of tribulation, perseverance, and character. The process of tribulation, perseverance, and character. Romans 5 reminds us that the journey to the fulfillment of God's promises often involves tribulation. Paul says we also glory in tribulations. Knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now, now this is the part of the process that many of us would prefer to skip. But the reality is, the tribulation is not there to break us. Yes. I'm going to say it again, the tribulation is not there to break us. 
is there to build us. The tribulation is not there to break us, but is there to build us. It's part of the process that prepares us for the promise. A tribulation produces perseverance. Perseverance is the ability to keep pressing on. Perseverance is the ability to keep pressing on. Even when it feels like nothing is changing. It's the ability to hold on to God's word. Even when circumstances look like the opposite of what he promised. Know that it's coming together and it's all working together for your good. Think about Joseph. God gave him dreams of greatness. Showing him that he would one day rule. But before those dreams came to pass, Joseph faced betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment. His journey was full of tribulation. But in the midst of it all, Joseph held on to the word of God. He decided to persevere through it and that perseverance built his very character. A character is the next step in the process. Character is who you become in the waiting. Mm. It's who you become in the waiting. It's about being shaped and molded into the person God needs you to be to handle the promise. Hallelujah. Some things God has promised over your life, but are you able to handle the promise when God gives it to you? That's why sometimes we got to wait on the Lord. But Joseph's character was tested and refined in the house of Potiphar, in the prison, and in the courts of Pharaoh. By the time he stood as second in command over Egypt, he had the character to match the position. You got to have the character to match this next position that God has placed over your life. Hallelujah. God will grace you with the anointing, the fresh oil, in order for you to be matched with the next position that God is shifting over into your life. Hallelujah. For every good word spoken over your life shall come to pass. And all of this leads to hope. All of this leads to hope. But not just any hope. Hope that does not disappoint. Why? Because it's a hope that's been tested in the fire of tribulation. Refined through perseverance. And strengthened by character. I'm going to say that again. Because it's a hope. That's been tested in the fire of tribulation. We find through perseverance and strengthened by character. This is where some of us are right now. We are in the process. We are in the place of tribulation. Developing perseverance and character. But let me encourage you to don't give up in the process. Yes, don't give up in the process. And WWE is John Cena that says, you can't see me, right? All about hustle, loyalty, and respect. And then he says, never give up. As Christians, as born again believers, we ought to never give up on God. Never give up no matter where you are in your process. Never give up. Because God is preparing you for the manifestation of every good word he has spoken over your life. Romans 5 and 5 declares, now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. 
This hope is not wistful thinking. No. It's not a vague optimism. No. It is a confident expectation yes. that what God has promised, he will bring it to pass. And this hope will not disappoint because it is rooted in the very love of God. For when you are rooted in the love of God, you can rest in the assurance that he will fulfill his word. Can I get a witness in here that God's love is the guarantee? If he loved you enough to send his only begotten son to die for you while you were still a sinner, yet in fact you weren't even thought of, you weren't even born yet, but God sent his son to die for you before you were even here. Maybe when you were yet a sinner, then how much more will he fulfill the good words? Hallelujah. That he has spoken over you now that you are his child. Hallelujah. Just say I'm an heir to the kingdom. I'm an heir to the kingdom. Hallelujah. We are joint heirs with Christ. Hallelujah. In this kingdom that we will inherit. Hallelujah. The enemy would love to make you be to believe that your hope is in vain. He would love to convince you that God has forgotten his promises. But I declare to you today that hope in God will never disappoint. The love of God is the anchor that keeps your hope steady even in the midst of the storm. Just know that you are standing in grace and expectation. You got to stand in grace and expectation. Romans 5 and 2 says we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. You are standing in grace today. And that grace is not just for your salvation. It's for the fulfillment of every good word spoken over your life. Grace gives you the strength to persevere in the midst of tribulations. Hallelujah. Grace shapes your character. Grace keeps your hope alive. So I encourage you today to stand in that grace. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the hope of God's glory being revealed in your life. Every promise, every prophetic word, every good word that God has spoken over you shall come to pass. It's not by your strength, but by his grace. So lift your hands, lift your hands right now and declare with me. Every good word spoken over my life shall come to pass. Every good word spoken over my life shall come to pass. Declare it with boldness. Declare it with faith. Declare it with the confidence that comes from knowing that God's love has been poured out in your heart by the Holy Spirit. You may be in the process right now, but hold on to your hope. It will not disappoint. For that God who promised is faithful. And he will do it. Remember that faith begins where your natural ends. Remember that faith begins where your natural ends. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to conclude with this verse. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Whatever you are doing for the Lord, whatever you are doing for his servant, whatever you are doing to upbuild his kingdom, do not become weary, but continue to move forward in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Ghost will embolden you and empower you to do what you have been called and destined to do. God will give you more grace to fulfill your destiny destiny ahead. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. 
Lord Jesus, for in due season we shall reap. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our evangelist Grace said on the last week, he, she said, the new, the new has come. Has come. The new has come. For in due season we shall reap. We are in a new season. Hallelujah. We are in a new season. We are not entering into a new season, but we already have entered into a new season. So we have to be led, guide, and instructed by the Spirit of God where to go, how to reach the masses. Hallelujah. Because we have work to do, saints. We have work to do. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. For we shall reap the benefits of the Lord. We shall reap every blessing of the Lord. We shall reap, oh God, every good word that has been spoken over my life. Every good word that has been spoken over your life. Every good word that has been spoken over our life. Every good word that has been spoken over kingdom life, temple of deliverance shall come to pass. Hallelujah. If we faint not. Hallelujah. If we faint not. So don't faint. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to give up. But continue to move forward. Continue to drive and move forward. Drive and move forward in God in order to get to where you need to be in Christ. You need to continue to move forward in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Every good word spoken of my life shall come to pass. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Every good word spoken over my life shall come to pass. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Lord, we are grateful, God. Lord, we are so grateful. We bless your name, Jesus. 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 We bless your name, God. Lord God, anoint us, God. For the path ahead, Lord Jesus. Anoint us, oh God, of fresh anointing, God. Pour down your spirit, oh God, of grace, of mercy upon us, God. Y'all be all anointing. Like you've never done before, God. Bless us in a supernatural way, God. Bless us, oh God, in a supernatural way, God. Take us to another level in you. Take us to another level in you, God. Is our prayer, God. Take us to another level in you, God. Is our prayer, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah.